coverage all across the Bay Area and also up in the Panhandle this morning. Jamel, where are you right now exactly? We're in Indian Shores, right on Golf Boulevard. There is a large um, condo that's behind us, a fire pretty much destroying this building. You can see it right here. Firefighters are having a time trying to get this fire under control. That's because of the weather conditions that we're experiencing right now. They're saying that wind is fueling the fire. They have been here since 7 o'clock this morning working to put these flames out. We're told that this is a four-unit condo building, three stories. Um, um, we've heard of one transport. The residents, the other residents are out though. But again, a woman told me she woke up uh, just before seven o'clock this morning and when she saw smoke coming into her vent. So again, now the cause of this fire, we do not know that at this time. Fire officials do not know that. They're saying this, the, the cause of this fire could be from anything and that could be from weather as well. But again, uh, that's something that we are working to find out. Again, they are having a tough time putting this fire out because of these windy conditions, but they are it's definitely staying with it and working at it. Wind can uh, help that spread, but have you seen any of the residents out there? Are they asking them to stand outside in the rain while they battle this, or have they moved them somewhere? The residents are actually on the other side of the street. Uh, there's a neighboring, uh, a neighbor that they know. They have all been sitting over there. A lot of them right now making phone calls. Uh, some of them uh, obviously very upset for this reason. They, they've lost their, their home. Um, but they are talking, not on camera at this moment, but they are telling us again that everyone that they know of is okay. They just saw smoke when they woke up this morning. The one woman said she came outside and she saw flames shooting out of the roof. So again, uh, we, we were told that Indian Shores Police Department was in the area and uh, they ended up calling in more fire rescue. We know that the Pinellas Suncoast Fire Rescue is here as well as Largo Fire Rescue is here as well. But again, like I said, they've been here since seven o'clock this morning. And if you take a, another look, they're on both sides of this building. And that's because of these windy conditions. Uh, one, if they hit the water on on one side of the building, well, you know what? The flames move back to the other side. So right now, they're trying to attack this fire from both sides of the building right now. The uh, wind, the windy conditions are making it very difficult for them. But again, as we know, the residents, they're uh, underneath a, a carport right now, and they're just watching their, their building uh, pretty much be destroyed. Mm. Jamil, let me ask you, um, you said it's a four-unit complex there. Are they worried about the fire spreading? Obviously, if they're attacking it from both ends, it started to one unit. Do we know how much damage is done to the other units? We don't know how much damage is done to the other unit, and I think um, that's what the, the fire official, he's trying to figure out for us right now. But again, like I said, they have been working on uh, both sides of this building. You can already see that huge gaping hole from the top. Um, and so as far as uh, we obviously know that that unit is damaged as far as the ones on the second floor um, We're not unclear about that, but that fire was pretty much rolling around in the attic And that's why they've been attacking it from both sides So um, we definitely can say that at least if anything those two top units are, are probably most likely destroyed as far as the units underneath here uh, That's unclear the adjacent buildings they haven't been touched. As far as we know, those buildings are okay. Wow, at least it sounds like they've got quite the strategy there to, to hit this from both sides because of those winds. But uh, also, Jamel, let's talk a little bit about the strain on the emergency personnel, given everything else that's right. happening right now in our area. You said that there are uh, fire crews there from Largo and other areas as well. Uh, have you seen other issues in that area, like flooding, down uh, power lines, or anything like that? Or right now, is their focus solely this fire? I think right now it's just totally this fire. I mean, like when we were on Clearwater Beach a little bit earlier, obviously a couple miles away, there was that the flooding issues over there. But right now, mainly this is the uh, the area that. Uh, emergency crews are focusing on. We haven't seen um, too many heavy rain downpours within maybe the last hour. So um, uh, again, everyone is pretty much here blocking off the roads and focusing on this fire. We saw a tree down up the street, but you know, that's not anything compared to this. All right, well, Jamel Lene coming to us from Indian Shores, where a fire apparently started somewhere around 6.30 this morning. I know you'll keep us updated, and of course, we're going to check back with you shortly.